Okay, it was raining, but it stopped. Has some cool effects with the clouds usually during these times. And with that in mind, what's going on today? Sounds kind of interesting reading this one where I guess in the future are people going to fear, I guess, underwater drones now and I suppose aerial ones. This one says Spanish police seize underwater drones designed to carry drugs. The vessels would have allowed traffickers to smuggle 200 kilograms of drugs across Strait of Gibraltar, police say. It's a lot of equipment based on the photos anyways. It says police in Spain have broken up a gang that was allegedly building semi-submersible drones, each capable of ferrying up to 200 kilograms of drugs across the Strait of Gibraltar. The Policia Nacional arrested eight people in Cadiz, Malaga, and Barcelona and said it was the first time they had come across underwater drones being used to smuggle drugs. Three unmanned underwater vehicles were recovered one of them almost finished and two still under construction. The force said in a statement, they were due to be delivered to French narco traffickers to be used to transport significant quantities of cocaine. And I guess in the currency it says what? 157,370 pounds in cash and six large aerial drones that could cover a distance of 30 kilometers. I guess they would have to quote build their own underwater drone because it's not as popular in terms of off the shelf underwater drones nowadays yet anyways. Again it makes me wonder if incidents like these will now make it quote I guess illegal everywhere. People are saying I don't know these underwater drones that disturb every single animal life or something like that in order to restrict it just because of these incidents. And I guess a lot of companies are actually getting into the drone industry. It's kind of interesting reading this one. This one says, Longtime Central NY company switching gears to join region's growing drone industry. I guess it's one of those things where they have to change business wise in order to survive. It says, A longtime Central New York manufacturer of switches and key fobs, which for decades relied heavily on customers from the auto industry, is expanding into the drone business. Marcard Switches is partnering with Air Autonomy of Grand Forks, North Dakota. Air Autonomy makes software modules that, with the push of a button, allow drones to fly pre-programmed routes to inspect windmills and other hard-to-reach infrastructures such as power lines and cell towers that are often dangerous for humans to inspect. So I guess that will create more supply potentially in the US for people to create, I guess, drones locally as well. I would imagine anyways, it'll probably be needed if those, I guess, restrictions continue where they want to ban things like Chinese-made drones. Today should be, I guess, celebrations in the U.S., correct? Because it's July the 4th. I guess, happy July 4th to people in the U.S. It made me think, too, because of this article where the airline industry is still, I guess, dysfunctional, if that's what you want to say, in terms of delays and stuff like that. This one says, Canada's airlines airports saw worse delays globally over long weekend. Canadian airlines and airports claimed top spots in flight delays over the July long weekend, notching more than nearly any other around the world. Air Canada ranked number one in delays on Saturday and Sunday as two-thirds of its flights, 717 trips in total, took off late, according to tracking services FlightAware. It was more than a 14 percentage point above three carriers tied for second place. I don't think this is a category you want to be racing to be first. It makes me wonder why is there so many, I guess, delays and stuff. Is it really just because the demand is that high? Or are they just getting rid of, I guess, workers for whatever reason? Like, there's not enough manpower. Either way, it sounds like it's been really hectic for people who need to fly, especially during, I guess, the holidays and all that.
Alright, see you guys later.